everyone and welcome to Crypto Setups. My name is Fez and this DeFi tutorial is brought to you by Icon Plus. So today I want to show you the My Icon Wallet. Um, we're going back to basics. I want to give you another option you have this time on your mobile device to set up an excellent wallet and access the entire Icon ecosystem through it. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have shot this on my mobile, but my mobile is in DEX mode, so you will see it at full screen and with the computer mouse. However, every action I take is exactly the experience you will have on the mobile phone. Let's dive in. I have got a brand new MyIcon wallet. You can get this from the App Store or Google Play Store, and in short is MyIcon Wallet and it's made by Reliant Node, which is a PREP on the ICON ecosystem and an Australian PREP as that very close to home. So let's dive in. I'm going to open up my ICON wallet and the first thing you're greeted with when you create a new wallet is this. You can run through each of the tabs if you like. And so I'll give you a quick summary of everything anyway. You can send and receive, vote for peer apps. You can basically do everything with this wallet, including use the apps through the wallet itself, which is fantastic and something the Iconex mobile wallet does not allow you to do. So there's a key difference there. So when you first set up your wallet, it wants a passcode. So just ensure you put in something you remember because you will not be able to access it if you don't remember your pin code. Great, so over here you have options, so however you want to do this, if you do have an Iconex wallet, you can actually bring the key store file and um, load it up through here and it will be the exact wallet and you can use on the computer and when you're mobile you can use it via the My Icon wallet app, which is great. But for today I'm going to start from scratch as if you're new to the Icon ecosystem and you want to use a mobile wallet and this is how you do it. So let's create it. Now let's set a password over here, not a password, you've got to name your wallet first before you set the password, so I should really read the titles before I jump to conclusions. So let's name the wallet, I will call it, oh that's not typing, crypto setups, excellent, we'll go next. Now this is an important step. So save your key store file and this is where it's a little bit different to other wallet setup. So when you're setting up uh, many other many of the other wallets you get a private key or a seed phrase and you're meant to save that. This gives you this tiny file, a key store file that you were in the next step I'll have to add a password to so you have to ensure you remember that password. It is different to the pin you set up at the start you remember the password, note it down, and then you can keep this file somewhere. So if uh, external, don't leave it on your phone, transfer it off your phone, on your USB, some device that you store your passwords, especially to do with crypto. Do not put it on a shared drive or cloud or anything like that, just for safety reasons. So you, uh, and I'll do this step next. So you, you save this file and keep it. That way, if you say you lose your mobile phone, it just stops working. You get a new mobile phone, install the app. You can just, uh, in the earlier screen where it said restore from key store file, you can bring in that file, type in your password, and voila, your wallet is restored. So this is why this file is extremely important and I've taken a bit of time to ensure uh, I've covered this yeah, very thoroughly. So uh, it tells you save it, it's password encrypted. So the next step it will ask me for the password, you know, you recall I jumped to this conclusion earlier. So I'm going to add the password now. Great, I have typed my password, obviously if it's not the same it won't let you pass. Now I will save this, it will be creating your key store file. There we go, excellent. I can see it has saved it on my phone. Now, I'm not going to go browsing through my phone, but again, I'm going to call this out. I just did a moment ago. Make sure you go and grab this file. Don't send it by email. If you can connect your phone up to your computer via your cable or you have the uh, a direct drop onto your computer, use those functions. Don't try to put that file on anything that goes through servers and things that um, 
that anyone could potentially hack and gain access to. It is password protected, but just be better to be safe than sorry. So, as soon as you've done, as soon as you've done that, here we are. That's your wallet set up. What I will do now is I'm just going to close this and let's head back in. As you can see, brand new. Put in my pin code and here you go. I am in my wallet. It is that simple to set up your wallet. So the only thing you have to remember is that you will put in a PIN number, then you will have to encrypt your key store file, which is like your seed phrase. So ensure when it saves to your phone, you transfer it off in a safe spot. So in future, you can restore it. And when you next step, you've got your wallet set up. So what can you do with this wallet? You can do everything you, you would normally do with the iConnect wallet. So let's browse through some of the options that are available in the wallet. We have our voting function which you can see I don't have any ICX as you know I just set up this wallet so my next step would be to transfer ICX into this wallet and then I could go vote or partake in the dApps uh, ecosystem so if I wanted to transfer I could come to transfer and send from and type in a wallet address it would need to go to but I'm not sending it I could receive it if someone wanted my address you just come into the receive so in in this in this context if you've just acquired some ICX and you now want to remove it from the exchange you've acquired it from you would come once you've set up your wallet come to the receive address copy your address go to the exchange and then send it out of the exchange to the copied address and within moments sometimes the exchanges take a little while to send it but if it hits the icon blockchain it will be processed within two three seconds and and then appear in your wallet but sometimes it is a little slower off the exchanges. So that that's the transfer function over here. The voting function is you could pick your different P reps and vote. Uh, I will come back to that. The browser function, now this is what I talked about earlier. As you can see, the the team update the D apps that are getting released on the Icon ecosystem quite regularly. You got Icon Bet, you got your um, future ICX, which is now epics and all the various icon bet games you've got project nebula so you could access the marketplace and and place some planets for sale if if you had taken part in that you got the unified protocol uh, I, icx lossless lottery now if you're wondering new user you're wondering what all this is i have got videos and all these protocols individually they will function the same way on your mobile just look a little smaller so you just have to navigate through that now, the other part of this wallet is in your settings, you can do a fair few things. You could save some contacts, addresses, people you'd frequently send ICX to. You could authorize dApps if they ask permission. Um, you can manage your wallet. So you don't need to have the one wallet. You could have this wallet and I could take my, in my other tutorials, you've seen my showcase wallet. I could use that key store file and add it into here. So I could manage multiple wallets. And the next thing you can do is manage tokens. Now, you can see over here, uh, let's get tap in there. Tap's already ticked, excellent. You can see a list of tokens. Oh, great, Seed has made the list, great. And if there are no tokens here that you know, so some of the new assets, um, the UP token, for example, that Unify gives, some of the Orbit Bridge assets that are gonna come across, for anyone new wondering what I'm talking about, if there's a particular token on the Iconic blockchain that is not on this list, you can add it manually. Now I've done, it works the exact same way. I have done another tutorial on how you can find the token addresses. If you're transferring ICX, the everyday beginner user, you don't have to worry about this if ICX is the, is the main token as it's already there. This is for those additional tokens that are slowly coming onto the ecosystem. Uh, and they're not listed, listed in the wallet, you can come in here, uh, throw in the contract address, hit add token, and it will save it and appear in your wallet list. So that's a bit about the settings. We've been browsers, we'll, we'll head home. So what I've done is I've transferred some ICX into this wallet. So uh, earlier, just moments ago, I mentioned how you would do it as a new user. Once it has arrived, so one other little tip is if you've got your app open and you've done the transfer and you're wondering why it hasn't arrived, just pull down on the screen and it will give you a little uh, little refresh icon. 
and like that which you just saw and it will refresh and usually if it hasn't arrived in moments that's what will cause the screen to refresh and you will have your three ICX so it was just a little bit difficult doing it with the mouse so once you have your ICX as a new user well the first thing you want to do is get that sweet 12% reward annual reward that you can get from voting so what you do is head over to the vote function now you can choose I have covered a little bit about voting in my initial tutorial remember you can vote for any P rep and not get penalized a lot of the P reps there's a lot of different P reps many P reps are actually building to the ecosystem educating uh, for the ecosystem and doing various other things if you know of them these are the P reps you want to go in and give votes to and every vote matters it's you supporting what is being built on the ecosystem if you are just not bothered by this you just want to stake your ICX and get on with it well you could randomly pick anything but uh, look I'm just gonna go for the purpose of this video you can uh, pick who you want so you could uh, sort this out by rank voters I'm just gonna click on rank because what rank means is these are uh, the number one not necessarily the best it just means who's been voted who they voted for didn't mean to pick that I'll scroll down and what I'll do is I will add I've got three ICX so I don't have much to to allocate uh, so for the purpose of this tutorial I will put it through to icon plus great so to you can see over here excellent they've even kept their projects up to date and this is a way you can if you're interested in doing a bit of research on the ecosystem you can see all the different things the P reps do I'm gonna click on the vote button now you can see I have two ICX but you're probably wondering wait a minute didn't we transfer three in here yes however remember ICX is used as a fee when you do anything even when you vote when you claim now that that the what's used is a fraction of an ICX um, not even 0 0.001 something like that so it, it's very low but the wallet will automatically not use a portion of ICX to ensure there's always enough to pay for whatever things you need to do with your wallet so in this case I can use the slider and move it across with the mouse it's proving there we go I will give one ICX and I will confirm the vote you can see to allocate now what it's telling me here is that remember there is you when you stake if you then want to unstake to transfer your ICX or anything once in a staked state you can't move your ICX you can move it between P reps if you want to change your votes but you can't move it to another wallet and there is an unstaking period which does change at the moment it's around eight days the more overall ICX that gets staked it will reduce the time it takes to unstake but for the moment you're looking at around eight days so it's just ensuring that you know that and you need to have at least a minimum of one ICX to vote so I'll hit confirm and you can see my votes have been allocated I have voted here and that's it so coming back home and if I go show you can see it's got my available ICX of three I've voted you can see it's a little under because my fees were deducted and I've got staked ICX if I had tap and seed it would show me my wallet balance here for those and if tomorrow oh, after 48 hours so it takes 48 hours after you initially stake to claim your reward so the next day you haven't seen anything don't worry give it a solid two days and after that on the third day you will see that you have a it will say claim i score will pop up right at the bottom of your app and one single click it will then claim what you've received into your wallet now uh, keep in mind my rewards of this will be on one icx is nothing but as you stack more your rewards will obviously with that 12% that's where it will start to ramp up 
Okay, I think I've covered everything with the wallet. I've showed you how to ensure your key store is kept safely. I have showed you how to transfer. I've showed you how to use the browser and the, I've showed you a bit of the settings. Uh, the final thing probably with the browser I did not show is to give you context. Let's go to the Unify protocol. As you can see, it loads it up beautifully. It will look much smaller. Click on icon. What it will do then is it will still, even though you're there, see it's prompted you to auth authorize it. So I will click authorize. Then you can click connect wallet and bang, it's connected. It, you can see it's connected because the address has come up ignoring that, that label there. And right now if I wanted to use this to trade some tap with my little ICX balance, I could go one, get some tap. What's that rate? Ooh, great rate to acquire some tap. And I could just hit next, submit and improve, and it will go through the entire process as I've shown you on various tutorials just on your mobile. It's that simple. So close out of this, come back home, and that's it. That is an overview of the My Icon wallet uh, and how you use it. Hopefully this gives you some comfort, and if you're just getting started, jump on board, get your ICX in your wallet, stake it, uh, vote for some great P reps and um, watch those rewards, your, your rewards stack up in ICX every day. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying my content, please hit the like button, give me a subscribe, and um, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks everyone.